NASA released stunning new images this morning showing new depths of the universe. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen spoke with the staff at the UW La Crosse Planetarium about what these photos mean for science. Amy, I've got one of those first look images right here, and these bright dots are galaxies. In this shot, NASA says we're looking about 4.6 billion years into the past. Astronomers say that these new shots are just the beginning. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has revealed the deepest look into space yet. Shots of galaxies, stars, and planets we've never seen before. As you look out into space, you're looking back in time, and the further out you look, the further back in time you're seeing. It's something everyone is buzzing about. Yeah, I like to go in there and look at the pictures and read the articles. And in the planetarium at UW La Crosse, they have their eyes on the skies too. These people that want to keep up with what's going on and find out the latest and spread uh, spread the word to them. So that the planetarium has the, the ability to try and do that for them. Both real and projected. It's pretty amazing when the lights are shut down and the stars are up. Bob Allen, a former teacher turned planetarium director, helps people see stars in the basement of Cowley Hall. I've heard people say, wow, a lot. Allen says what we're seeing is about 12 billion years back. It's a much clearer picture, closer to the theorized age of the universe, 13.8 billion years old. Everybody's excited about these initial pictures, and they are, uh, in their own rights, uh, beautiful and unbelievable, but uh, wait for the scientific uh, information to come along in the future months and years. It's a much clearer picture, close to the theorized age of the universe, 13.8 billion years old. So you compare what you saw versus what the observationalist versus the theoretician, what they think you could see, and by putting those two together, you're able to either say the theory works as it is, or we got to throw it out completely or modify it. Allen says these new images are only the beginning, making way for billions of more discoveries. The planetarium holds most of its programs during the school year, but if you're interested, you can join their sky observing sessions every month. Their next session will be at the Galesville Schools Observatory on July 29th. Amy? You got a little bit of peek at one of those shows today. It was very, very cool. Yeah. I would recommend. It's on my list of things to do. I need to take a staycation to do some of those things here. Thanks, Emily. I agree with you. You <laughs> can view and learn more about these images on NASA's website. We're going to post a link at news8000.com.